So, this is our last example that we can now look at briefly. And the example is telling us that a smaller fish is 3.0 meters below the surface of the pond and 2.5 meters from the bank of the pond. A man which is two a man two meet two point zero meters tall stands four point zero meters from the pond, assuming that the side of the ponds are vertical. You should calculate the distance a man should move towards the edge of the pond before the movement becomes visible. I can really try to do some kind of sketching here that supposing this is my pond. Okay. They're saying that we have a fish is three meters below. So if my fish is here, if my fish is here, the depth here for the fish is 0, 0 meters below the surface of a pond. That is, I'm assuming if the pond is here in water. I mean the fish is here in the pond here. And that's the surface of that pond. And then they are telling that uh, at three meters from the three meters from the what? Two point five meters from the bank. If the bank is here, the position of the fish, I can take an average distance here of two point five meters. And then they're saying that a man who is two meters tall stands four centimeters from the pond. If I'm looking at from here up to here there is some guy here who is standing maybe say let me use this arrow to represent the man and is at a distance of 4.0 meters and they're telling us that his height is 2.0 meters so they're saying that calculate the distance the man should move before toward the edge of the pond before the movement becomes visible. That how far should he move? Okay? Maybe assuming if he moves and he comes here. At this point, should we continue moving, the fish will automatically see him. Is that it? He becomes visible to this fish here. He should move some distance this side before this fish see. Because this fish will be seen here and then seeing him properly. So if you to move this distance x assuming it is that distance x what is that x assuming the man moves from here up to here after here he shouldn't continue the moment he continues the head will come out and the fish will be in position of seeing him so what is that distance x assuming if he's now here that means that for the fish to see him that means light rays will come refracted in the eyes of the fish there Okay, so whichever way we take it, because you look at the principles, this one can be my arrow, this one can be my eye. So, this is the red diagram that if it's here, the light rays will come here refracted in his eyes. And then the fish here directly will see him, so he shouldn't go beyond this. So, if we are to, 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 to solve this problem, I can call this one A, and I say applying Snell's law. At A, isn't it? That means refractive index of water sine I should be equal to this will be in air refractive index of air sine of r but can i get i i will know that but i can say sine of i can say this is opposite and adjacent but turn i equaling to opposite toward opposite adjacent turn i Equal to, if I look at this triangle here, is equal to 2.5 divided by 3.0. What is my I? So we can use our calculator and get I. 
And basically, I'm going to say. Thirty nine point eight that is equivalent to forty degrees. This is thirty nine point eight, and I can take it as forty degrees. Or even if you leave it like that, just no problem. Okay, let me leave it there. And then if I come back here, I will say refractive index of water. This is one point three three. Sine of the angle in water here is this at a nine point eight. Should be equaling to refractive index of air is one. The angle that is refracted in air is r. So my r is the sine inverse of those values there. Sine r. We're saying sine r, not just r. So we can say one point three three. Sine such 9.8 will give us that, and then shift sine inverse of the angles 58.4. So that is our angle of refraction here. And then, if this is a theta, okay, I can say theta equaling to 90 minus 58.4. What is ninety minus fifty eight point four, and then theta is equal to thirty one point six. So I now, if I get this angle, I say ninety minus to get this angle here. So now, in that case, I will be possible of getting this adjacent for this here. If I can use another. I can be in position of getting what is this distance here. I can call it D. Isn't it? I know this one. If the guy moves up to here, his height will still remain 2 point that. So I can say tan theta equal to opposite out of D. But theta is that. That means that D is equal to 2 out of tan 31 point. Six and my d will be some value. So what is two divided by tan of thirty one point six? That is three point two five. D is three point two five. My d is three point two five meters, isn't it? So I'll say that uh, x is supposed to be 4.0 minus 3.25. So what is 4 minus the answer? I can say 4 minus 3.25. 0.75. X 0.7. Because now after knowing this d, I know from here up here is 4. So if I know d, I want to know x. I know x plus d. Eh? Because I'm saying that. Uh, x plus d equaling to 4. That the distance from here up to here and here up to here, which is x that we are looking at, how far you should move up there will be equaling to will be equaling to now this plus that which is there 4. Because the man in China was located at a distance of 4 meters from the bank of the pond. So that means that if I get this one, I can conclude therefore the man should move 0 0.75 meters towards the edge of the pond for his that is before his movement becomes visible so this is how we can analyze this because we looked at the guy moving from here up to here at this point here we are assuming that he should we continue his movement will be visible so we are assuming he has brought his height now at this point. And I will say if he's here, how do we draw some red diagram for the fish to see him? I will look at the rays from here. There's some kind of refraction because there's change in media. Okay? I got this angle here because I was given the depth and the distance from the point where the fish is. You can use turn. After getting turn, apply snail flow here. 
to get r if you get r 90 minus r get this angle and if i have this angle, i can know the distance from from the point up where the guy is currently is that is d now after knowing d i know from here up there is four and then four minus d will give me the angle so that is how the problem can be tackled